Hey there everybody, Chris from Orlando here, and today I hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling too. Oh come on, it's lovely weather for a jingle cruise together with you. That's right, we're talking about the world famous Jingle Cruise. The only holiday layover at Disney World if you don't count Figment Sweater, which I do. But Chris, why are you talking about Jingle before you talk about the regular Jungle Cruise? One, because as a result of the world ending, the Jungle Cruise movie got pushed back and threw off my flow. And two, because I was actually a Jingle Cruise skipper before a Jungle Cruise one. I started two weeks before Christmas. Talk about trial by fire. So let's throw back some eggnog and talk about the world famous Jingle Cruise. And before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're really close to hitting that 200 subscriber count, and I would love to get there by the end of the year. So Jingle Cruise first made its debut in... 2013? What the hell? Like, I literally learned about this a week ago. I was expecting to say, the Jingle Cruise debuted in 1994, or something like that, but yeah, Jingle is less than a decade old. The story behind Jingle is quite simple. Because the Jungle Navigation Company works their skippers all year, the skippers miss that good old fashioned Christmas experience with their families. Which as anyone who's ever worked at Disney World will fully understand and have experienced. So the skippers decorate the boathouse in the jungle for the holidays in their own skippery way. Also we have a bunch of presents getting flown in via airdrop, but they're currently MIA. So most of the decorations are pretty thrown together with the signs on the boats being everything from roof tiles to tires. But I want to point out two decorations in particular. First, we have a New Year's ball currently hiding behind its biggest fan, which is really just a big tangle of lights. But also, there's a menorah near the beginning of the queue. What's cool about that is at sunset, they'll actually have one of our Jewish skippers say a traditional prayer over the PA, while another skipper lights the menorah by placing tangerines on it. I didn't see the menorah out when I went recently, but hopefully they'll get it out in time for the holiday. Out of all the skippers who work for the Jungle Navigation Company, it seems our favorite disc jockey, Albert Awall, is the only one who actually got the holiday off, as he's temporarily replaced by Nigel Greenwater. That's Greenwater with Noel. Let me tell you, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas is a fine song. Uh, but not so much when you have to hear it multiple times an hour because it's the only Christmas song somewhat related to a jungle setting. Before we go any further, I want to take a brief moment to give a shout out to this skipper, Emma Caroline. She was great. When it comes to the new jokes we tell, they let us pick and choose which ones we make festive and which ones we keep the same. And just like with the regular Jungle Cruise, most skippers have no problem going off script if the joke they think of is funnier, which, spoiler, it is. One of my favorite jingle jokes was actually one I would do over the PA system while waiting for my boat to pull around. It goes, Can I have everyone's attention please? We have a missing persons report to report. We're looking for a large, jolly old man in mostly red. He's gone missing. He was last seen being stuffed into a bag by three small children in Halloween costumes. If you have any information, please see the nearest skipper. We now return you to your wait time. Still in progress. Jingle. Skippers are quite the creative and, of course, funny bunch, which made this pit of piping hot tea so odd. So my last year as a skipper, something happened that became a running joke during the course of Jingle Cruise, and that's Skipper Angie. What's so bad about Skipper Angie? Well, simply put, she doesn't even go here. Yeah, she's not a real skipper. She's an actor. Also, this rant I'm about to go on is not her fault. She's great as a citizen of Hollywood, and was just doing what she was told. But they did give her some really faulty information. First, why is she wearing two hats? That's just a crime against fashion anywhere besides Team Fortress 2. She got the names of the boats wrong, the songs that they play in the queues wrong, she told jokes that weren't in the script, which, yeah, a lot of skippers don't either, but the point still stands. 
It bugged so many skippers that it was a running joke that we would announce Angie's shortcomings over the PA for the rest of the season. We were salty because there were plenty of awesome skippers who could have represented us to the media, like Skipper Jay, Sean, Brian, me. Did they really have to get an actor? I know this was a thing for only one year, but it was something that we couldn't stop talking about. So now we come to the question of why the Jungle Cruise is the only ride at Disneyland that gets a holiday layover. Like, a real one, not just changing the lights on Space Mountain. Well, it's for a very simple reason. It's because it's easy to set up and take down. Think about the Haunted Mansion Nightmare Before Christmas layover at Disneyland for a second. Isn't it awesome? Man, I miss it. Anyway, Nightmare Mansion takes a little while to set up. Trust me, I know. But that's because there's so much that needs to be changed. Animatronics need to be put in, taken out. It's a whole ordeal to get something like it set up. Now for a park like Disneyland, where it's mostly locals and annual pass holders, that's no problem. It's a problem at the tourist park, where Karen's will complain if any ride is down longer than three seconds. With the Jingle Cruise, they can set up the decorations overnight and schedule a couple hours to go over the spiel with the skippers. It's very easy to do and makes me yearn for all the awesome holiday layovers we could have if only we had the time. Nightmare Mansion, yes, but think about... Uh, Yuletide Maelstrom. Uh, Seven Doors of Mining Train. Star Tours Life Day. Hanakali Rapids. Call me Imagineering. And that's the Jingle Cruise in a shell nut roasting over an open fire. It was a nice way to add some festive cheer to the otherwise... Um, not mundane, this is Skippers we're talking about. But a break from the normal chaos. Just don't hire actors when you got perfectly good skippers right here. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to Chris from Orlando for more awesome theme park videos. I'm Chris from Orlando, and I wonder if the Jingle Cruise will be part of the Jungle Cruise movie. Take care, y'all. One love. Don't hurt nobody.